property or else the whole prenuptial agreement doesn't work. So what happens is that we have an elegant, a chiastic structure. It's like in the form of an X. The person who does not want to give a get is convinced through the prenuptial agreement to give the get. The person who does not want reconciliation is convinced by the prenuptial agreement to go for reconciliation to a marital therapist. They will meet at a point in the middle when their paths cross and they will reach an agreement. They'll either reach an agreement to reconciliate or they'll reach an agreement to divorce with dignity. So far in Israel, there have been several cases where women have been saved by the Heskem Kavod Hadadi, where there was no anticipation, and we did not know beforehand, that the guy would turn into a refusenik, into a bad guy. We had no indication, no way of knowing, but because the, the parents of the couple made them sign it, or because the couple themselves said, we should sign this as an example for all of Am Yisrael, or we should do tikkun chavati, tikkun olam, we should uh, uh, correct uh, a blight upon Jewish society, they protected themselves. Because you know what happens in a case of divorce, in case of Jewish divorce? Good people can turn into bad people. Even good people can. Because there's natural justification. And we want to protect good people also. We want the husbands also. We want to keep them good people. Because if there are children involved, I said it in the film, if there are children involved, you need to have co-parenting that is cooperative, co, that's cooperative, so that the children can grow up in a healthy environment. If there's get refusal, you saw the young woman who was a product, the young woman Rivka, Rivka, the 15 year old, who was a product of a, a, a couple that was going through get refusal. You heard what she said. Okay? So we are protecting our children, our future children, by signing a prenuptial agreement. We are protecting the future generation. And there's another point. By signing to the, pre the prenuptial agreement, this is something I don't think you've thought of. By signing the prenuptial agreement, or having everyone you know sign the prenuptial agreement, you will see to it that there will be more Jewish children born. You will see to it that there will be a larger Jewish population in the next generation. Because each victim of get refusal, her biological clock is ticking and she is being prevented from bringing more children into the world. Even, even all of the secular women in Israel today are aware of that, that if they don't have a get, they do not become pregnant. They don't bring more Jewish children into the state of Israel. So it is incumbent upon all of you to talk about this. Shabbos is coming. Shabbos comes at the end of every week, thank God. You have family, you're sitting around the Shabbos table, you have guests, talk about it. Talk about the movie you saw this week, right? You can use it as a bar Torah. <laughs> and you talk to everyone you know, and tell them, if you don't remember anything, you, know, you say, Google it. Google anything here. Google Council Young Israelites. Google the Agreement of Mutual Respect. Google mining. Google anything. And, or, or ask anybody in the OU Center, right? In the Israel Center, in the OU. What, who do I find out, who do I find that will tell me about the, the financial agreement? Please, make sure that you do it.